Which, which brings me to, do you guys have an issue with what he said about uh, Notre Dame and Ohio State? And if anybody's not familiar that's listening to us about Marcus Freeman's comments or what actually, if I'm, if I'm being more accurate about it, what he wrote, correct, in an article about Ohio State versus Notre Dame and not making the same mistake twice, Tony. I'm looking at you since you nodded your head a couple times. We'll start with you. Any issues with what Marcus Freeman had to say? Because I had issues with it. Uh, I posted a video. Everybody can see what I had to say about it. I don't think it's the end of the world, but I had some issues with it. If if Marcus Freeman made a mistake by going to Ohio State that helped him get to in, into the coaching ranks, that eventually helped him land the job at, at uh, Notre Dame, and also if Luke Fickle, the former Buckeye, by not taking the Notre Dame job, allowed Marcus Freeman to uh, get that job as well. There, there should be a lot of thanks and appreciation for what Ohio State did and has continued to do for him. And even Ohio State sniffing around as a defensive coordinator for him has made him money. So every step of the way throughout his career, I think Ohio State has uh, he has benefited from his association with Ohio State, his degree, his playing days from Ohio State. And it's just uh, – it's it's funny – uh, or is it is it disappointing to hear him Claire, you know categorize it as as a mistake? I, you know maybe things would have been better if he went to Notre Dame. I mean look at all the uh, the the college football head coaches the that program has produced. Yeah, it's um, probably one of the few things he's really messed up here uh, because <clears throat> you know I get you want to portray Notre Dame as the ultimate destination for college football and for the top prospects and everything else. But Ohio State gave him everything that he has. And I just I I think I think it's I, I just want to say it's a young guy making a mistake, you know, just just he took it one mile too far. And uh that's there was no reason for him to 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 say anything. That, that even could be construed as negative about Ohio State. I mean, I, I think – I haven't looked it up, but I do think maybe Notre Dame was a school he was looking at coming out of high school in the Dayton area. And yet he had such a spectacular career at Ohio State. They played in two national championship games. He was a three-year starter at Ohio State. And he was an all Big Ten player and had a shot in the NFL. And then I think he injured his neck and his NFL career was cut short. And he made lifelong friends like James Laurinaitis, you know, one of his best friends and best buddies and, and, and got to play for Luke Fickle. Became acquainted with Daryl Hazel, who gave him his first shot as a college coach at Kent State. And then, well, Fickle, I think, hired him as an analyst, I think, at OSU or as a quality control or whatever. And then Hazel and then Fickle. I mean, maybe he went to Purdue with Hazel. He did. Cincinnati with Fickle. I mean, maybe he gets those ties if he goes to Notre Dame and, and somebody hooks him up over there. I don't know. But uh, Luke Fickle and Ohio State have given this guy everything he's ever had. And so I just – I don't want to beat up on him because I like Marcus and I I'm rooting for him. I hope he does very well at Notre Dame. Uh, there's enough out there that Ohio state can prosper and Notre Dame can prosper. I mean, they play the first game next year. I think those comments will be dredged up quite a bit in the run up to that game. And I don't think he's going to like the result of that first game with CJ Stroud wearing the scarlet and gray. I don't think there's going to be many people, you know, that going to believe that Notre Dame's going to pull that one off unless he pulls some kind of a rabbit out of his hat. But uh, he's got to play him the first two years. He's the head coach at Notre Dame. So be careful. You know, he took it a mile too far. Yeah, I, I think it was ill-advised. I think it was a tactical mistake of what he, what he said there. He could have still had a great message out there without, putting Ohio State on blast in this situation. Yeah, he did. I mean, not only did he play uh, or coach under Hazel at Purdue, but he followed him to Kent State. He left Ohio State as a GA in 10 and went to Kent State in 11 and 12. And let's remember that uh, if Marcus Freeman would have gone to Notre Dame instead, he would have been there for the final year of Ty Willingham and then been there for Charlie Weiss. I mean, 
I know that I'm just that's so much so much opportunity there under under good old Chuck. I think so, they had a losing uh, yeah. season. They had a losing season in there somewhere and didn't come close to playing for the national championship. Oh, seven. They were three. They were three and nine in oh seven. Uh, the the uh, Ty Willingham's last year, and then they ended up having an interim for the bowl game. Was a six and six year. So you know, I I agree with everything that Steve and Tony said. I just I think it was a bad decision. Probably, you know, you're you're trying to throw red meat to your fan base, and there certainly is a rivalry between Ohio State and Notre Dame with a couple of blue bloods in the proximity to one another, even though they don't play each other all that much. Uh, a lot of Ohio State fans I know, Notre Dame is their second most hated school. Uh, pretty much the few Notre Dame fans I know hate everybody. Um probably Notre Dame as much as anybody when they're not performing well. But, uh, yeah, a uh, big-time mistake by Freeman there. Uh, you know, does it bother me? No, I don't I don't have any skin in the game there, really. At the end of the day, I'm, I like Marcus. I texted him, congratulated him when he got the, when he got the uh, move to the full-time head coaching position. But, you know, if he, would have, if he would have run the copy by me, I would have said you should probably think, think twice about this. I, I, it is interesting if he had chosen to go to Notre Dame, he could have. I guess when he when he he had a, he would have had an association with Charlie Weiss. He would have played for Charlie Weiss for three or four years, and then after his NFL career had ended, he could have gone and been a GA for Charlie Weiss at Kansas, which would have it'd been be, uh, be out of the profession. Yes, now. exactly. And then and then shortly after that. He would be back in Columbus selling insurance, like a lot of the former football players end up doing, or they're in mortgaging or or whatever. There's going to be some jobs, or actually, he would have gone and he would have had to been to in somewhere in South Bend. I'm sure there's plenty of jobs in Chicago for for a guy in insurance or, or whatever. Instead, he went to Ohio State, and now he's making millions as Notre Dame's head coach. It's uh, I, I just I feel bad for him. If I'm not mistaken, most head coaches across America are in the same situation in which they are currently employed by a university that they should be lauding as being great places to to attend and play football. But also they have an allegiance and and certainly typically meet that allegiance and 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 verbalize that allegiance to their 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 former school, their alma mater. <clears throat> He's in the same position as Kevin uh, most notably said. You can you can do both. You can certainly. Um, talk about all the great things available to everyone at Notre Dame to to play football and go to school and not diss your alma mater who set you up for for a head coaching position at Notre Dame at the age of 35. And 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 the the one thing that's wasn't stated here although uh, I guess Kevin hit on the records was um and, and this has nothing to do with where he's landed and and progressed through his career but uh I find it laughable that Notre Dame was two games over 500 for three years, that he was at Ohio State going to three BS, BCS Bowl games, three Big Ten championships, and two national championship games. So there was no comparison on the field between the two. Kind of says time. it all. 